Welcome back to Reel and Go. Today we're working on our bush bike. This is a Kawasaki 230 uh, and we have the battery problem. Today we're going to resolve this and take a look at what kind of changes we made to the bike in order to help out with our expedition adventures. So let's take a look. All right, we're going to get this thing tore off here today. These are pretty easy to work on. Uh, battery here. On this bike is tied in with this great big rubber strap and that also covers up the toolbox which is in here and you don't get to carry much tools in there but it's enough to probably get you out of a pinch so we'll take off this little cover here and then uh, this strap is kind of useless we'll leave it and it doesn't matter if it's there or not at this point and this is the original battery this is a 2020 model and these little uh, gel cell batteries here or AGMs or whatever they are they don't seem to last very long at all uh, what we're going to talk about today is this addition right here when we go to change this battery so let's just pull all this off and we can dig right in uh, this is uh, an addition that we made in order to get uh, power from the battery to do stuff like phone charging charge cameras whatever it is uh, when we're out on adventures and the other uh, reason that we have that these extra wires on here on the battery is so we have a direct 12 volt connection to the battery even when everything is covered up and what that allows us to do is actually boost the bike so there's always a chance when you're out in the woods and you have a dead battery these are not kickstartable bikes these are electric start only bikes and uh, the klx 230 is a fuel injected model so you really don't have to worry too much about it not running but you do have to actually get the motor to turn under power because it's got a fuel pump and if you don't pump fuel then you don't have fuel injection and if you don't have fuel injection then your bike doesn't run so the simplest thing to do was for us to actually add a 10 gauge wire here this wire here uh, we put we crimped the ends on here to do a cold solder and then we actually did solder them on top of that and we heat shrink them of course and these wires run into this uh, uh, loom here every bit the same as the loom that came on the bike we just bought some more of the same loom and ran it all the way up to the handlebars here and so up in through here is our loom and now we've got a 12 volt what's called an XT60 connector here and uh, we can use it for something like this for instance so here's another the other end that would plug into the motorbike now and now we've got jumper cables on it so I could actually plug this into my bike up at the da at the uh, dash unit and hook this on to someone else's battery and boost or I can actually plug in a portable 12 volt power supply into the bike through a connector like this for instance like a radio controlled battery like a three cell radio controlled lithium battery would do that that will boost the bike so now you have all kinds of options without having to take all this apart and try to find cables out in the woods. You can carry a little tiny booster pack and just give the bike a go whenever you need to. And uh, the other reason it's nice to have a connector like that up at the top is uh, with another one of these plugs, I can actually hook a USB charger on here and plug it right into my phone to make sure that my phone is still working when I'm out on trail for mapping. And so right now we're gonna drop in this brand new battery this was a uh, simple Amazon purchase here from uh, Nietzsche Power Sports, typical AGM 12 volt, you know what I mean? This is a YTX7A BS battery. Uh, the original here was the UASA battery and we found a no name replacement on, on the Amazon. It did not come filled, which is really good news actually because uh, then I got to fill it up. It came with the filler to do it so you just have to do it after it arrives and then uh, you have this brand new battery brand new glass mat battery can't beat that now the 
came with these uh, new nuts and hardware as well, so I'm really happy about that because now when I assemble my stuff here, it'll be all fresh and new. Now, there's one thing that uh, has always bugged me about these kinds of setups, and I guess I'm gonna have to change the camera around a bit to show you the detail here. Let me show you, hang on. So, on these tiny batteries, they have a nut that sits inside the square here. And uh, the nut looks like this. It's just a nut plate that goes in the back inside the lead, bl lead block. And uh, it, it has the threads for the outside bolt to attach to. Pretty common. Problem is that uh, they float around in there and they fall out and it's a real pain. And they used, to, they used to come with a spring in here, a little tiny spring that would hold the nut plate to the front so when you put your screw in it would fit but the springs always break and fall out so the solution is you actually use a piece of a zip tie this is so easy so you chop off the end of a zip tie or an already chopped off zip tie and you simply fold it in half you see that you fold the zip tie in half and then you put your nut plate in the right spot in your battery and you shove your zip tie right in there just like that and oops, sorry about that put your zip tie right in there and that holds your nut plate up against the threads and of course it's just a plastic zip tie so if the screw goes through the nut plate and hits the zip tie doesn't matter no big deal so what I'm gonna do is take these two zip ties out of the old battery get rid of these old nut plates and I'm going to install the new zip ties and nut plates into the new battery. And then we're gonna put it back in the bike. And we got it all in and it's so nice I can hardly stand it. So the wires are all tucked in there, super nice. This is the loom that has the uh, new wires going to the dash panel here. This is the loom for that. And then these wires, the factory uh, hot and ground, they all tuck in here nice and tight. And that sits on a bit of a rubber pad to give the battery a little cushion, I suppose. And that's it. So we'll cover that up. This is the toolbox in here, by the way. There's uh, not much going on in this little toolbox, but significant little hole in there, you know? You can fit a bunch of junk in there. So I'll tuck all that back in and we will get this thing on the road. Nice part is the uh, bike is so well made. You know, everything here was just made to fit and it's, if I can get it back into this tiny battery hole or compartment, that'd be great. It's tight, but it all works. Just like that. Now, this little cover here has some tabs on the bottom. And uh, the little tabs there, they fit into a couple of tabs on the bottom of this tool, tr tool tray here. So that when it's in, there's a pocket for the tools to fit in. And then the bottom of that, it's kind of captured inside there. There we go, fits down inside. And you can see here, there's a cover that holds the battery in and the strap goes around it to also hold the whole package together at one time. When I first got this bike there, uh, somebody had had the battery out to uh, charge it, I suppose it was dead. And this wire was mounted on top and it was a bit of a, a bit of a change and shouldn't have been like that. So I changed that around back to the factory way. And uh, oddly enough, the white cover, when it went on, it actually fit way better. So I'm glad that was, uh, the remedy because the white cover was sort of sticking out a little bit it's kind of weird we're gonna tuck that clip right in there uh, I guess there's some debate you could say whether or not you should tuck in the the negative wire in behind the strap or above the strap I don't know I put them in behind the strap because then they're they can't rattle anymore and we're good to go so let's get the side cover back on here and then we're about done this project. This has, uh, took me a while to figure this out because there was no instructions on how to get this off. It was just, obviously there was a key, you know. Luckily inside they give you some specs for your oil and idle RPMs and a few specs, you know, like you would have under the hood of a vehicle. And I didn't realize this was a 
slide up top until uh, I had been messing around with it for long enough to get frustrated. And there we go, two rubber buttons here to tie that in and that gets locked on with the key and we're all set. Now, let's take a look at the top. So up on the dash panel here on the bike, we've got the typical key here. The uh, instrument panel is here. And um, now that we've got some juice in the battery, that's all ready to go. Got to reset my clock now. And of course, the uh, this is my extra plug here. So there's a cap I made for it. You pull this cap off and that gives the exposure to the contacts. That's just another plug that's been soldered off and taped off, glued so it don't actually work. And that keeps the dirt out of the plug and I can just shove this loom down inside here so it's out of the way. Now I can plug in a USB charger there and run it into my phone box to keep my map working for a long time. And uh, real simple stuff on the bike. You know, cute instrument panel. That'll engage your fuel pump here and then you just whack the starter. Just like that. thing's been sitting here in the indoor storage there for months and uh, had a bad battery way back when so this was a good time to revive it and uh, for one another project done now our plan with this bike here is that uh, we're gonna make a uh, travel rod a fishing rod three piece and mount an ABS tube onto the bike here so that we can put the travel rod in it and we're going to take this bike up here into the back lakes uh, around our, our area and do some back lakes fishing. And hopefully, once I get my Kawasaki rack for the back, I can put in a couple of pots and pans and we'll do a back lakes catch and cook on the Reel and Go channel. So lots of exciting stuff to come for the adventure bike this summer. Thanks so much for hanging around and watching the video and hope you enjoy and we'll see you out on the trail.